Okay, my name is uh, Konstantinos Milonas. I'm a director of research at the Hellenic Center for Marine Research, and I'm the project coordinator of uh, Diversify. Aquaculture is important because uh, the wild uh, catch, the wild fisheries have been declining since uh, the last uh, 40 years. Uh, back in the 1980s, only 10% of the fish consumed by humans uh, was coming from aquaculture. Today, 50% is coming from aquaculture, and that's because the oceans may be vast, but they're finite, and their production has reached uh, the maximum, and no more fish can be collected. Today, more than 80% of the uh, harvested fish are overexploited, and if we want to hear, have uh, fish from the oceans in the future, we have to decrease the number that we extract. So the only solution is aquaculture. And of course, this increasing trend of the contribution of aquaculture to the human uh, seafood consumption will increase. So that's why aquaculture is very important for the supply of uh, healthy seafood to, to the world. Well, the problem that we had with the, we were called to address uh, was one of the stagnant uh, European aquaculture uh, industry. And although we can produce more fish, uh, more biomass, we cannot sell more fish. And the reason, one of the reasons is that uh, most of the fish that we're growing, especially in the uh, marine aquaculture, are small fish, which are sold uh, whole. And you know very well that uh, recent, more uh, uh, contemporary consumers are not very uh, eager to clean fish, scale them, gut them, and they're more prone due to uh, lifestyle changes and, and uh, requirements that they require uh, easy to prepare uh, food items. To do that, you need to have a large uh, individual, a large animal, to be able to process it into fillets, into steaks, into nuggets that will be uh, produced also in, in ready-to-made dishes uh, with sauces and spices that will be easy for the consumer to, uh, to take up. So the objective of the project was to identify some large and fast-growing fish, which can be grown efficiently by the same industry, but the result in larger fish that can be processed into these uh, uh, value-added items. So these six fish were selected based on this uh, biological um, advantage. And in addition, one of them, which is uh, the gray mallet, was selected because it's an omnivorous fish, which means that it doesn't require exclusively uh, uh, fish for its diet, which is the, the diet of almost all the fish that we're culturing uh, uh, from the marine environment and many from the uh, freshwater environment. So it means that their diet is, can be cheaper and can be more sustainable because it can be substituted with uh, proteins that are coming from, the, from terrestrial sources. So this was the reason we selected these six species. Okay, the development, of course, we will take some years uh, to see, but uh, the, the areas where it will make a, a development is that we have developed, uh, uh, we have acquired uh, knowledge that is important for introducing new species into the aquaculture production, and we have acquired knowledge and developed methods that will enhance uh, the uh, production of already uh, emerging species, species that are produced by the industry, but to a small extent because of some uh, important biological bottlenecks. Uh, we have developed feeds that are more uh, efficient, that uh, uh, are more cost effective for the industry. We have uh, learned about the potential diseases and how we have developed methods for, uh, for addressing these problems, these diseases. So once this is taken up by the industry, it will enhance its, uh, uh, its function, its production in these six species. Well, the next step it will, be, it will be the result of a reflection that will follow uh, the completion of this project the next uh, few weeks and the preparation of the report. Uh, once you, you solve one problem, others uh, come up 
or gain importance. So now that we have uh, learned to walk, now we're going to try to run. So first we uh, develop the methods to establish the uh, reproduction of the species, to produce the juveniles. Now we have to do this more efficiently, more cost effectively, uh, with better uh, production uh, parameters, better growth, better uh, quality of the, of the flesh. So it will include uh, uh, optimization, let's say, of the methods developed. And, and of course, as I said, uh, new problems always arise. And uh, in order to be competitive, you have to always be uh, on your uh, on the edge of your seat and to see to be able to uh, to see what the new problems uh, that are coming uh, and uh, try to address them.